After losing my entire bank to the Falador Guards, I'm now playing Broke Man Mode, but hopefully I'm not going to be playing it too long as the final looms is time to gather max gear to try and compete for the 1v1s. And this is how we're going to make money. It's day 742 and I'm out here in a D-med. Okay, what's in my key? Yeah, nothing. So if I die, it really doesn't matter too much right now. I just lose a life. I'm planning on taking full advantage of my quests and sigils for the rebuild. You already know it. It's the good old Monkey Madness 2 tunnels. This place is a gold mine, this dead man. I still need to max out, so I may as well do some barraging, max out my defense and magic level. Hey, 99 mage. This is good for the magic defense. And also, it gives you a slightly higher accuracy casting spells. Every little helps. The maniacal monkeys probably have dropped more sigils than any other monster in this dead man mode by a long way. They're such a high level and you kill them so fast. For the same reason, they're also the primary dropper of the PvP weapons. So hopefully I get lucky. Oh yeah, and it's the best way to get tier fives. Absolute money machine. Yo, Sigil of the Guardian Angel. That is five million gold. All these noobs dying, they need to protect their bank, so... Well, there's a lot of money. That is a great first trip. Probably made around six to seven mil there. Insane GP at the Maniacals. I'm going to invest my riches into the Sigil of Last Recall. It is so overpowered. If you watch the leagues, you'll know. I'll show you in a sec why this is so good. Also got to rebuy my crystal shield. There's 750k in the bin. And this time I'm barraging with one of my friends. He needs protection because he's scared to lose his max cape. Last Recall. Whenever you teleport out somewhere, you can click it and teleport straight back. How insane is this sigil? Oh my days. I don't have to run through all the Monkey Manders 2 tunnels. That saves me like five minutes a trip. Yes, another Guardian Angel. That's another four or five mil right there. Oh my days. I'm splitting with Mr. Maining over here. So yeah, he gets half of it. Hopefully he starts printing and providing. I want him to get a VLS because my luck is not too good right now. Once again, I am leaving with the absolute bank loot. That Guardian Angel split in half. But we've got tier fives and some other lesser sigils. But some of these are still worth like 400k. Four tier fives to turn in. And that is six million points. And I've got a little bit of a plan here. Antidotes don't actually sell on the GE. 3k points. They're so cheap, bro. I'm going to stack up on these and we're going to be selling them for so much money. Got to be speedy out here. There's always PKs in Edgeville. So I'm using the looting bag for maximum speed. All right, there were 3k points each and a bunch of them have just sold for 3k. That's so good. I chucked some in for lower and we got another mill out that my tier fives are printing. I went back and I literally chucked the whole lot on antidotes because I think there's a gap in the market right now. I'm getting a sigil of the skiller to try something right here. This is the full skiller lineup power up right here. Sigil of the skiller, the alchemist and the barbarians. We're going to be doing some herb law. All these antidotes can get turned into anti-venoms which can get turned into anti-venom pluses. Sigil of the alchemist means I make all my potions in one tick. Look at this herb law XP. It's absolutely crazy. And now these antidotes that I was selling for 3k each are now anti-venom. Zora scales are worth like nothing. Wow, we're already 89 herb law. This means I can plus five boost up and we can make anti-venom pluses and we can sell those for bank on the GE. So an anti-venom sells for 8k. And all I had to do was use 20 Zora scales and a torsal to turn my antidotes into those. And we're making so much money out here. I'm going to crash the market, but hopefully I can make some on the way. Another reason why I'm becoming a master of herb law is 90 herb law means I can make the strongest raid potion. I can make super overloads in raids. Going to be going and doing a few solos this video because I want to get my hands on that really good loot. I'm done. Sold my sigil of the skiller. It is time to completely crash the anti-venom, anti-dote, anti-venom plus market. Let's go. All right, took some early profits and I'm going to buy a status warhammer with that for raiding. We're going. Chains of Zarek. Hopefully I don't get PK south of Fally in the multi. That would be a shame. But this is the only time I'll have to run through here because... You guessed it. We've got last recall. All I've got to do is hit that and we can go on some raids with the boys. Sometimes I feel like well, my hands up in the air. I know I can count on you. Uniques from raids on Deadman are four times as common. So roughly every 200,000 points, we should be seeing a purple chest. I'm going to make sure I get right next to the door. No PKs are going to get me and tab out. And when I use my recall... I'm right next to the door. No PK is going to get on me and I can get straight into the raid. Sometimes it seems the going is just too rough. Everything's going on no matter what. 
Oh, shit. Wait, we got... No, we got an omelet. Robert got an omelet. No way. Okay, we got two arcane prayer scrolls, a double loot of 196k points and an omelet. Any purples for this trio? We're splitting, so that'll be good. Ah, uh, of course not. Look, there's me with a crystal shield. And then there's this guy flexing an Ellie. Okay. But broke man modes in full force. Yes. Last recall. Let's go. That's an expensive one. I'm back here at the money gorillas because why the hell not? At this point, I'm picking up every single sigil. I don't care. It's like a collection. Gotta catch them all. And here we go. Four more emblems to cash in while there's a fight going on. We're going to go for the antidotes again because we're making bank with these. Wait, they actually stopped their fights so they can attack me. They don't know though what I've got in my sleeve. Activate the sigil of escaping. Okay, I got frozen. No worries, no worries. Sigil of freedom. And we're free. And now they're going to splash because of the sigil of escaping. And we are home and dry, baby. Well, we're pretty close. If you are still playing, make sure you use the sigils to help you escape. It makes things so much easier. All right, the overnight offer is going in. 5.8 mil. <laughs> Please sell. Ah, yes. The PvP game mode. I'm doing a bit of preparation for solo raid. 60 construction means I can construct the medium chest. Does farming for subscribers still work? Hey, there we go. 55 farming. I couldn't be bothered to wait for trees to grow. Now I can grow Noxifers inside a raid and I can do some solos. I purchased myself a blood shard and a fury for 4 mil in total. I thought that was a good deal. And I'm going to be using this throughout the tournament. It's going to be my final hour ammy as well. My last recall is set. So all I have to do is scout a good raid on my second account. And then I can quickly teleport in. Scout man mode in full force. Teleport in. Click on the door. No one's going to PK me like this, are they? We're rocking last recall, a stamina sigil, and also death strikes, which is an accuracy sigil. I'm actually scaling the raid to two people. So I'm doing a one plus one. I'm keeping my alt inside because I think I'll be able to do it. And more points just means way more chance of a unique. Deadman raids are also a decent amount easier because you get to use a stat hammer, which is like a dragon war hammer with 35% spec. So this hand is always going to be spec down. It's actually so nice. Especially doing these huge solo raids because I've got to be careful. I'm essentially doing two solos in one. And I really don't want to die because I'll lose tons of points. I've got 20k at the start of home. Nearly 49k points. And that's why we do the huge raids. Purple on my first solo. Oh, yes. That's so good. Oh, that could be so much good stuff. Okay, well, I know what I've got. And it's an ancestral hat. I mean, at least it looks good, but oh, if you even knew, like the price of Ancestral right now is through the roof. Prayer scrolls would have been great. This is actually the worst. I think this is the worst item. I looked on the GE and the Ancestral hat sold for two mils. So I'm not selling that right now. I may as well just use it for raids. Yeah, uh, may have died on this one. Oh, that's good. A dark relic. The XP from that is going to be huge. Activate my sigil of the elves for 50% more XP in farming. 55 to 60. Nice. More yields from herbs. I'll be perfect. I did crash the prices of antidotes, but I got two mil. I still sold them two cage. That's way better than anything else in the shop. I'm trying to sell off the rest of my potions right now. Alongside this fucking thing. 40k plus points and we get death runes. Woo. Coal for Christmas. Wait, what? I sold the coal from that raid for 800k. What is going on with this economy right now? 41k points and nothing. Oh, I've done like 20 raid equivalents. I've got an ancestral hat. What is this, man? There he is. This man PK'd my ult. No. Oh, he's finally dead. He's finally had to offer up everything he has, which is absolutely nothing because scat man mode. Oh, I lost all my ulting stuff, like my hammer and my d and things. Okay, I think I'm done with the raids for now. I CBA to regain this account. Why would you do anything else when you can sit here barraging maniacal monkeys with sigils and emblems and hopefully PvP weapons? Yeah, I don't know either. I'm trying to make things interesting for myself though. Oh, there it is. Sigil of the Skiller. That is 6 million GP right now. So good. We're also rocking plenty of emblems. This has been a really nice hour. Ooh, look what bought overnight. And look what sold. We sold the hat for 3 mil. 
Let's not speak about it. And we got an arcane prayer scroll. That was cheap. I think that was like eight mil. Augury, that is just such a good prayer for tanking. I've been busy today. All my low ball offers in the GE have failed. I spent a lot of money on all this stuff, but I actually got a pretty decent price for all this. Stuff like the Malediction Ward. I'm making this for less than two mil. That's just profit right there. The only thing is with this, I have to go and make it in the wilderness, in the deepest, darkest depths. Doing this probably netted me about three mil dead man mode though. So that is really nice. I've got a nice little PK setup going on here. Perfect to defend myself. This is nearly a mage's bug. So that's pretty good. I couldn't resist. I'm not even geared to PK. I've got no pots. <laughs> he was uh, killing Callisto. Why are you killing Callisto? All right, I got you too excited. He's smart. He's running some multi. There's no way I am following that in all my gear. I thought I may as well gear myself up in a PK setup to do some final questing. Mainly to defend myself and maybe I could get some loot along the way. What do you reckon this thing sounds like? I just completed the Fremenic Trials quest and I've got nothing <laughs> left on me. No teleport. This is the banky. And I'm on the ancient spellbook so I can't home tell you but... You know, dead man's dead, so we're chilling. In dead man mode, they've actually changed the whole of the Lunar Isle to be single and not multi, so it just helps out solo players versus clans. Hopefully I don't die in this cutscene. Wait, maybe I could kill someone else when they're in the cutscene. That's the plan. I mean, if I see anyone here, I can just kill them, I think. I can still access the bank. Yeah, I didn't see anyone. Lunar Diplomacy quest completed, and now I can use the Lunar Spellbook. I probably will be a tank in the final hour, so this is essential. I did go and do a bit of PKM, but I figured I was wasting my time. I just couldn't find anyone. I like to roam the map, but when there's 21 worlds two weeks in, you just can't find anyone. So yeah, I gave up on that. I've made the most of the grand exchange there. Oh, we've basically paid for that entire buckler just from merchant stuff. That's so nice for my final hour setup. Yo, there's no way they just bought, I just bought Pegasian boots for like three mil. That's so good. I've managed to go from absolute rags to a semi-respectable final setup. I'm going to go as a tank because I think that's my best opportunity. And I got some decent gear here, but there are some upgrades still to make.